Today on Make It Take It Outdoors, we're going to be tying a Helgramite jig. Also, I won't be watching my team on TV. Stay tuned. First of all, I want to apologize. Um, it's been over a month since I made a video. If you've been following my channel for the past year or so, you may remember that last December, I lost my uh, brother, retired Gunnery Sergeant Brian Fields. Uh, he passed away on December 5th. As luck would have it, my other brother, Gary Fields, passed away this year, uh, or actually last year, December 2021. December 15th uh, from COVID. Uh, that was the day before my birthday and it kind of put me in a tailspin. So I think you can understand why I haven't been making videos right now. Um, it was just, a, it's been a rough time and I was ready. I was ready to get back into it and everything. So today's build, we're gonna make a, a Helgramite jig. And one thing I found out, uh, day after Christmas, I did go fishing and I was using the uh, last video, I think it was the last video I did before everything went to crap. Um, I did a hair jig and some spinners. Well, I tied on that hair jig, went over to uh, Mohegan State Park and caught a couple nice trout. Didn't catch anything on the uh, spinners, which was fine. Um, watched the guy catch a really, really, really nice fish. Uh, and he was using a... Um, heavy nymph that was going along the bottom so I thought hey hair jigs gonna be perfect for that and that's what I tried and I did catch a couple nice ones and it was a lot of fun um, I know helger mites are a popular uh, or I should say popular food a favorite food of trout smallmouth pretty much all the fish so I thought I'd try to make this jig um, it's a real simple build we're gonna be using EVA foam that I picked up at Hobby, Lo Hobby Lobby Michaels who knows it's commonly found at almost any uh, craft store, big box store in the uh, craft section. It's like a dollar for a big sheet. It's two millimeter um, and it, it turned out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. It doesn't have as many legs as a Helgramite, but I don't think there's trout out there uh, counting them and everything. Um, again, I apologize for not being around, but I'm sure you guys understand. And it's snowing. Bleh. I won't be fishing. Not for a little while. Um, I just, I don't have ice fishing gear and when it's this cold, your guides ice up and everything. So let's go back in, uh, inside and build that sucker. Stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna start out and this is the jig I'll be using. It's a 1 8 ounce jig. But we're just going to cut a strip here. This is about 5 16 wide or 7 millimeters by an inch and a half close to 40 millimeters. So I'm just going to cut two of these strips real quick. And this is just a foam craft. I bought it. Actually, I bought this at Walmart, I think. I have to be super exact right now because these are going to be two separate pieces. Um... But one thing I want to do now is just make a point. And this will be the tail end. So for this, like I said, I'm using a 1 8 ounce jig and I wish I had the ones that did not have this collar on them, but I don't. One thing I am going to do though is break that barb off. Hold on just a second. Hey, do me a favor. Hit subscribe, like, and all that stuff. 
I really like making these videos. The channel's really grown, and that would let me know uh, if you're liking what you see. Thanks. Bend it right off. Flatten that down. Actually, we'll get this a little flattening anyway, the whole thing. Maybe a little bit better bed for the uh, foam and everything. All right, so there's the jig prep. Took the barb off, flattened it out. So what I want to do next is gauge how far I need to make the hole for the hook. And I want the hook right about there. So I got to figure out roughly Just, just poke it right through the middle, and that's not the middle. All right, so now we poke it, and we come down here, and look at that. Oh my gosh, it worked. It's going to lay right up by the head. So that's the start. That's the top part of it. The bottom just a hair. Well, it's not perfect. Let's, let's go ahead and try to do a little bit better. And of course it's a barbed hook, so we're going to make it a little bit longer up there. Poke that through. Bring it down. And there. Now it's up against the head. Let me show you that. See? And that'll all get tied down. So we got that for a start. The bottom, in fact, while I'm thinking of it, and like I said, first time trying something like this, I'm not a fly tire. I'm just a dude who likes making crap. i put a little super glue there. Let's go ahead and get that setting while I work on something else. Now, as you probably can guess, I've stuck my finger to it. And now my thumb. Gosh. Why am I like this? So there's the beginning. Now this will be the bottom and let's get these scraps out of the way. Ah! I'm tearing everything apart. So I'm just going to put a little bit of just a bead of super glue right down the middle. And I've got some rubber legs somewhere. Here we go. I'm gonna make these a little bit over an inch long because I'm gonna trim them down. And this is just uh, living rubber. And I'm not gonna put a ton of legs on here. Um, if you know of any trout that count legs on Helgramites and such, let me know. So, like I said, got that bead there. Uh, super glue. We're just going to lay down some legs. Hey, kitty.
I'm just trying to get that straight there. And then one more will do. We're not going to go crazy on legs. I know Helger might have a ton of legs. I think if the trout sees legs, they'll be like, hey, food. And now I want to just take the jig and lay it right there on it. Like that. Ooh. Okay, something kind of cool just happened. I didn't match these up at the end, but if you see there, it kind of looks like a Helgramite's tail end. They've got kind of a double back end. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, pinch this all down. Get this leg. All right, we're gonna give that a second to the uh, super glue hardens. I'm gonna put on the fly tying uh, vise. Couldn't remember the word, hold on. All right, we're back. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, uh, since all the fly, uh, I shouldn't say fly tying, but all the tying is gonna be in front of the bend of the hook and just attach it back here. You know what, probably be easier if I just turned it over. I could not find my black thread, still missing, and so I'm going to do uh, with the brown here. But I'm just going to do a couple loose ones to get it started. I'll kind of cross this over to get it covered. Let's bring it over this way. All right, now let crank down a little bit more. by pinching this here, that's going to give it a uh, segmented look. Now we're bringing this over to this next segment. Do a couple light wraps like I did before and now cinch it down. Nah, got the hook. Bring it up. light wraps. Oops, let's get that lined up a little bit better there. And now bring it to the front. A couple light wraps and we're going to just go ahead and finish this off. This was a lot easier than I expected. Um, now I know this is brown thread again, not black, but what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of a uh, Sharpie on it. Now let's add some super glue to uh, set this last part. We have a couple more times in that to get it spread around. Grab my Finisher, my whip finisher. Take it out once, twice. Ah, that'll be good enough. There we go. I'll go one more time. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Yeah? Hey, get down off the counter. Let's see what we got.
All right. Turned out kind of cool. Hold on just a second here. All right, so this is what I got. I'm going to uh, add some super glue right there to that back part. Oof, that was a lot. Um, grab a scrap here. And trim off this thread. I noticed the tail did go back together, which was kind of a bummer because I liked that effect it was going with. Um, what I might do is go ahead and spread it like that, super glue it in position. Rise. I will cut it more into a fork. Hey, good look at that. Stuck to a lure. Imagine that. All right. So there's what we got, and we've got to let everything dry now. All right. I think what I think I'll do is just trim right down this edge just a hair okay so got that that underlying piece needs to go hold on here actually hold on that works Ta -da. all right let's get the uh, sharpie out color the thread and no, I don't worry about the Sharpie and the smell and everything because guys who tie flies use Sharpies all the time. On foam rubber. down a little bit those went on the floor don't tell Stephanie well I think it'll pass um the reason I made this is I went fishing the day after Christmas and I'll include some of that, at least the photos of it and everything, because I went as my alter ego. You'll see that in the photos. Um, yeah, let's get a little bit more Sharpie right there. But I took spinners and I took the uh, hair jigs I tied in the uh, last video back in early December and didn't catch anything on the spinners, didn't even get a hit. The hair jigs caught a couple nice ones though and did not get any footage because I was just out there trying to relax and enjoy myself. So sorry about that. All right. There's a finished product. Um, I do like the EVA foam to work with it. This is gonna be something I'll probably use in the future. I'll probably tie a bunch of these for summer for a small mouth. Um, it's great having the soft rubber ones, but if you fish small mouth, you know those things get torn up pretty easy. I think this stuff will uh, 
survive pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm, I think this is going to be kind of cool. Like I said, definitely for trout. I wish I could put more segments in confidently, um, but I think it'll be okay like this. Uh, the craft foam I got is just two millimeter craft foam. Picked it up, I think, either Walmart or Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it was a dollar a sheet. And a sheet the sheet I got was 12 by 16, 12 by 18. So I'm going to be able to make a ton of stuff with that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. So for the trout, what I can do is uh, use this on my ultralight pole. And I, what I'd like to do is find the uh, jig heads that do not have the collar and everything, like I said before. But pretty excited. Well, let's move on. Right, there you have it thanks for sticking around um, got a few other ideas so I'll start working on those this week and we'll get this channel right back to where it was and yeah thanks a lot guys I really appreciate you being here um, for all my new subscribers especially thank you so much for signing up for my old subscribers thank you for sticking around I really appreciate it so in the meantime you guys uh, wherever you are have tight lines great day and I'll see you soon.